Hello, this is Jason Lee again speaking. Last time I talked about the Truman Show who is getting out of the small world, the egoic world, seemingly. Um, the, today I would like to talk about uh, The Matrix, which was uh, an old movie too, but uh, I would of course introduce you to uh, the new movie, the new Matrix, which came out uh, just last year in 2021. But first, uh, the most important thing is the uh, version one uh, of the series, The Matrix, which came out in uh, the last year of the tw uh, 20th century in 1999. And let's grasp there the most important point, not just to enjoy what's happening just phenomenally, where that is, but uh, from a spiritual point of view, it's like a dream world. Morpheus says to Neo, uh, Keanu Reeves constructs scene that uh, the matrix is the computer generated dream world. Yeah, that means zero one and the activities that are going uh, on with this structure is the matrix and and sometimes don't you I think this reality or dream or when you look back on the whole, uh, whole past life or just 10 years or two years of what happened two years ago. It seems like a dream. And what I do right now, is this dream or just the true world? Uh, we cannot uh, say this is not a reality, but what is reality? What reality passes, okay? Everyday uh, reality passes out of your sight so quickly and nothing remains substantial. There's no substance of anything else. As far as we live in this um, world of matrix, which consists of zero, one, uh, in other words, we, uh, I would like to remind you of the uh, Tao again, the upper side and is, uh, lower side, in Yang, Tao. So everything, every phenomenon is uh, just conditional. Conditional, everything is just made by these two different sides. And then it multiplies. So each and every one has different opinions. I like this and like that, uh, like this much and this much, this much and this much and so on and so forth. But unless we have a spiritual light for, uh, that is illuminated from the other side, in other words, so we are blind and we are like machines. And in the movie, uh, there is a war to get out of here. But it's not actually the war, but spiritual, well, we can call it spiritual war, but uh, it doesn't have to be a war. If it's a war, it's like war-like peace. It's uh, just accept the idea deeply. There is the ultimate reality and the reality is happening right here within the uh, reality, what is happening right now. In other words, the ultimate reality and the reality of things happening are together, but they are different. And if you seek really the uh, ultimate reality, which takes the form of everyday reality, but in different dimension, then uh, you can live in serenity and joy and uh, presence. Spiritual teachers like uh, 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 Eckhart Tolle and Adi Ashanti call it uh, presence. And presence is, of course, uh, on the basis of the present moment, as they say in Buddhism. And not only in Buddhism, but well known now in the United States and other countries. And we uh, turn to the 1999 movie where there, the important roles were played by Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann um, and uh, Lauren Fishburne uh, as Morpheus and directed by Wachowski uh, 
sisters now. Uh, we should call them sisters, and distributed by Warner Brothers and Roadshow Pictures and Roadshow uh, Enter. The most important uh, people here are Keanu Reeves, of course, and then uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne play Neo and um, Morpheus. Here we go. This is only the trailer. you were so sure was real. What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world? What the is the difference world? between the dream world and the real world? What is happening to me? The answer is out there, Neo. Is there any the difference? Yes. That's what why is this, is, this movie is here. The Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from Matrix is a like a computer game. What truth? They're watching you, Neo. Human beings are a disease. You are a cancer of this planet. And we are the cure. Well, um, there's a, a lot of scenes of war between humans and um, machines, AIs, artificial intelligence. But uh, we're not talking about really war here. But uh, what I'm saying is that uh, uh, the like uh, situations in which we are controlled by zero one computer game is like. Uh, uh, that's the ego. Ego, uh, that's more than similarly, uh, but um, um, this, so human nature doesn't go in, the, in a way saying like one plus two is three and three plus two is five, but the uh, truth is the whole, uh, and we have the freedom to control, to move and act in that, uh, in that world. And if you are not controlled by anything else, uh, in other words, if we are not controlled by our own ego, uh, machine-like ego, but uh, uh, awakened to the truth, which includes both right and wrong, uh, good and evil, and, and so on, then we are really free. Uh, and in the situations we still choose this or that, but uh, inside we are becoming freer and freer. Thank you very much, and I I'll see you uh, with more interesting stuff next time. Thank you.